again to our Westminster Shorter Catechism and we are now in number 25. So, ang title, The Office of Christ as Priest. A priest is a person appointed by God from among men to represent them before God. So, ang pinapag-aralan uh, natin dito is about the priesthood of uh, Jesus Christ. At uh, isa ito sa mga offices ni Jesus Christ in relation sa kanyang being a redeemer, tagapagligtas. Ito po yung uh, tanong natin sa Westminster Shorter Catechism number 5. How does Christ fill the office of a priest? Ang sagot, Christ fills the office of a priest in his once offering up of himself to God as a sacrifice to satisfy divine justice and reconcile us to God and in making constant inter intercession for us. So, ang tanong, how does Christ fill the office of a priest? Meron tayong uh, dalawang sagot based sa ating catechism. Number one, Christ fills the office of a priest in his once offering up of himself to God as a sacrifice. So ito po yung uh, uh, first answer natin sa tanong wherein uh, Jesus Christ being a priest offered himself once and for all as a sacrifice. Meron kasing uh, Old Testament background na ang mga priests eh they offered mga animals. Uh, they killed, they butchered uh, animals as offering. Kasi yung principle is uh, life for life. Dapat ang tao yung mamamatay dahil sa kanyang kasalanan, pero ang kanyang kasalanan ay inako ng uh, mga naiaalay na mga hayop. Pero actually, pinaliwanag sa New Testament na actually hindi kayang uh, bayaran ng hayop yung kasalanan ng tao. Ito ay uh, ritual looking forward to the perfect sacrifice na si Jesus Christ. Now when He offered himself on the cross once and for all yun na yun yung tunay na kabayaran ng ating mga kasalanan kaya kailangan natin ang priest kasi tayo ay guilty makasalanan at uh, Christ gave himself para sa atin as a sacrifice okay hindi na yung hayop yung uh, naisasacrifice kasi talagang uh, yung mga dugo nila cannot really uh, pay for our sins kailangan dumating si Jesus Christ as a perfect sacrifice sa Hebrews 10, 12. But this man, after he had offered once one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. So ito po yung uh, image na pagkatapos ni Jesus Christ na ini-offer niya yung kanyang buhay sa krus. After three days nag-resurrection and he ascended on high and now sitting at the right hand of the Father. Okay. Tapos na yun. Yung Old Testament priests, they kept standing. Okay, di ba tapos-tapos yung kanilang gawain. Pero Jesus Christ, after offering Himself, now seated at the right hand of God the Father. Meaning, kompleto na. He completed the sacrifice once and for all. Now, ito yung mga purposes ng uh, sacrifice ni Jesus na minsan tinatawag natin na atonement. To satisfy divine justice. Sa Isaiah 53, 4-6, we can read, Surely, He took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered Him punished by God, stricken by Him, and afflicted. But He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on Him, and by His wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Kung baga yung ating kasalanan ay eh, inako ni Jesus Christ sa krus ng Kalbaryo. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Kapat tayo yung uh, mamatay dahil sa ating kasalanan, inako ni Jesus Christ. Okay, so kailangan kasing may kabayaran yung ating kasalanan and Jesus Christ paid it. So, we call that amazing grace, amazing love, ang ginawa ni Jesus Christ. Another purpose of the sacrifice of Jesus or your, your atonement is to reconcile us to God. Ayon sa Romans 5, 10 to 11, For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, much more surely, 
having been reconciled, will we be saved by His life. But more than that, we even boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. So, ang image ng magkaaway, you know, we were enemies uh, with God, you know, but because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the atonement of Jesus Christ, we were reconciled with God. We are now at peace with God na kanyang uh, mga niligtas. Kailangan natin yung uh, priest kasi tayo ay uh, mga guilty, ano, mga makasalanan at uh, binigay ni Jesus ang kanyang buhay to satisfy God's wrath. How does Christ fill the office of a priest? Ito na yung uh, pangalawang sagot natin. Christ fills the office of a priest in making constant intercession for us. Okay. Christ continually prays for us. Nagpe-pray siya para sa atin. So, meron siyang ginawa sa krus, that's atonement, sinacrifice niya yung kanyang buhay para sa atin. Hanggang ngayon, meron pang ginagawa si Jesus para sa atin, interceding for us. Pinagpe-pray tayo. Jesus intercedes or speak to God, the Father, on our behalf. So, hilalapit tayo ni Jesus Christ sa Ama. Okay? So, uh, tingnan natin yung uh, uh, prayer niya sa John 17. We call it the High Priest, the prayer of Jesus Christ. Jesus prayed for us noon pa. He prayed for His disciples and even those who will believe in Him. Kasama tayo. Okay? Pinag-pray ni Jesus Christ sa John 17. Kasama tayo sa Kanyang pinag-pray in the past. And even now, He is interceding praying for us according to Romans 8:34 who is to condemn Christ Jesus is the one who died more than that who was raised who is at the right hand of God who indeed is interceding for us hallelujah Jesus Christ sitting at the right hand of God praying for us interceding for us so Hebrews 7:25 therefore he is able to save completely those who come to God through Him because He always lives to intercede for us. Okay, so uh, through Him. Now, we can uh, approach uh, God through Jesus Christ. Uh, kahit sa prayer natin, pag nagpe-pray tayo, uh, to the Father, through Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So makita natin dito yung, uh, it's always through Jesus Christ. Yung ating kaligtasan, yung ating uh, pananalangin, mayroon pang uh, awit, ano? Someone is uh, praying for you. Pwede ang kaibigan natin, ang ating kapatid, magtulang, or kakilala natin, pastor natin, or uh, members sa church natin. Pero, actually, when we say someone is praying for you, Jesus Christ Himself, pinagpe-pray tayo, hallelujah. Hindi niya lang uh, inako yung ating mga kasalanan sa krus, even now. He is interceding for us. Sa Romans 8.26 And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. Jesus Christ helps us through the Holy Spirit sa ating prayer. Jesus Christ is uh, praying with us through the Holy Spirit. Imagine ano, na ikaw ay hirap mag-pray, pero nandyan yung Holy Spirit na nagmo-move sa iyo para ikaw ay makapag-pray. So, when we pray, we don't pray alone. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray through the Holy Spirit. May isang uh, bata na nakita ng isang uh, beacon habang siya ay papunta sa church prayer meeting at doon yung bata sa labas ng church nagpe-pray. Sabi ng uh, beacon uh, bakit ganyan yung prayer mo? Naririnig ko, parang nagpe-pray ka. Opo, uh, nagpe-pray po ako. Bakit ang prayer mo ay kakaiba? Ang prayer mo ay paulit-ulit, napapakinggan ko, paulit-ulit lang na ABCD, EFG hanggang sa Z. ABD, ABCD, paulit-ulit na lang na yun yung uh, prayer mo, sabi ng bata. O, opo, uh, naintindihan po naman ni Lord yung puso ko, yung prayers ko. Ang dami-daming letra na aking uh, binanggit. So, siya na lang yung mag-ayos. Basta alam ni Lord yung damdamin ko, yung puso ko, yung aking request. Pinapakita dito yung uh, minsan hirap tayo big kasi o ilagay sa words yung ating prayer. But Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, 
can help us in our prayer. And Jesus Christ Himself, ayon sa ating uh, catechism, eh, pinagpe-pray tayo. Is that not uh, amazing? Amazing grace ng ating uh, Panginoong Diyos through Jesus Christ. He died for us. He atoned for us. He sacrificed Himself for us. He saved us hanggang sa ngayon. Pinagpe-pray pa rin tayo ng ating Panginoong Jesus. So how does Christ fill the office of a priest? Christ fills the office of a priest in His once offering up for him, of Himself to God as a sacrifice to satisfy divine justice and reconcile us to God and in making constant intercession for us. God bless everyone.